Hello, everybody. In this lesson, we are going to translate some Turkish sentences into English. And let's uh, start from the first sentence. The first sentence says, uh, what? Öğretmen sınavı unutmayı teklif ediyor. You see, the sentence is in Turkish. Now, we are going to translate this sentence into English. But first, I'd like to write the Turkish of the words in the sentence. Öğretmen, teacher, sınav, exam, unutmak, forget, teklif etmek, önermek, suggest. These are the words. But now we are going to do, we are going to combine we are going to join these words together. The subject of the sentence is the teacher. The teacher. What does the teacher do? What does the teacher do? The teacher suggests what we are not going to forget as here because the sentence is in the simple present. The teacher suggests. What does the teacher suggest? He suggests. Forget, but there is ing here. The teacher suggests forgetting. Forgetting what? Forgetting the exam. The teacher suggests forgetting the exam. The teacher suggests forgetting the exam. This is the first sentence. Now let's uh, look at the second one. Let's look at the second one. It is a suggestion. Çay içelim mi? Çay içelim mi? Yeah, I believe that you all remember suggestions. It is ah uh, first çay içelim mi? But we should remember the phrase here, I think, because we all know that what T is or what the try is, shall we drink tea? Shall we drink tea? Shall we drink tea is the right answer. The third one, Tuba çay içmeyi öneriyor. Tuba Çay içmeyi öneriyor. Tuva, çay, tea. İçmek, drink, önermek, suggest. Let's write it. Tuva suggests. What does Tuba suggest? She suggests drinking tea. Tuba suggests drinking tea. Tuba çay içmeyi öneriyor. The fourth one, öğrenciler oldukça sıkılmış hissediyor. Öğrenciler Sorry. The students oldukça rather sıkılmış bored hissetmek feel. These are the words. Now, what are we going to do? We are going to combine. We are going to put together these words. The first one, let's start the 
subject of the sentence is the students, the students. Now we are going to write the verb of the sentence. He said you, he said make, feel, the students feel, bored, but how, how bored the students, the students feel rather bored. The students feel rather bored. How do the students feel? How do the students feel? The students feel rather bored. And the fifth one is dinleseydin öğrenirdin. It is if it was a type two, it shows unreality in the present. Yani şimdiki zamanda gerçeği aykırılığı anlatır. Dinleseydin, yani sen dinleseydin, sen öğrenirdin. Dinlemek, listen, öğrenmek, learn. If close type 2, when we say if close type 2, we should remember what? We should remember if... First, if plus a sentence, a dependent clause, and then a main clause. Clause means main sentence, it's main sentence. And if part, if, this sentence will be in simple past and this sentence will include, will have world. Now let's try to write the sentence. In listening, who, who will listen? You. If you listen, listened, if you listened, you would learn. In listening, öğrenirdin. But you didn't listen and you couldn't or didn't learn. All right, that's it. And the sixth one is iş stresi ruh halimizi etkiler. İş stresi work stress ruh halimiz our mood etkilemek impact o zaman Özleden başlayalım hemen. Let's start from the subject of the sentence. Work stress. And after it, we are going to write the verb or the sentence. Etkilemek. Impact. But here we should be careful about whether the uh, subject of the sentence is singular or plural. Yani özneye baktık, öznemiz bu. Is it singular or plural? It is singular. So we should add S here. That's it. And let's... In color. Work stress impacts what? Au mood. Work stress impacts our mood. That's it. And the seventh one is üzücü haberler ruh halimizi çok etkiler. Üzücü haberler. Sorry. 
sad news. Ruh halimiz ağmur. Çok etkiler. Çok verdi. Maç etkiler. Impact. Again, the subject of the sentence, sad news. Then we are going to write the verb of the sentence. Impact, but we are going to decide whether we are going to write impact or impacts. Which one? In order to decide this, look at the subject. And if the subject is plural, we are going to write impact. But if the subject is singular, we are going to write impacts. Sad news is a singular noun, though it is written in plural. Sad news impacts our mood how very much. Ruh halimizi ne etkiler? This is the, I think, the easiest one. What? Ruh halimiz, sorry. What? Our mood. Impact. As you see, what is the, uh, what subject of the sentence? So we are going to start with it. What? Then verb. Impact. We should ask subject questions in singular form. We in what? Impact impacts our mood. Subject. And you see, this is the verb. What impacts our mood? Yaşlılar onları aramamızı beklerler. Yaşlılar, the old, onları dım veya dem. Aramak, yani telefon etmek, call veya telefon, phone. Beklerler, beklemek, ex, expect. The old, aramamızı, bizim aramamızı beklerler, yani bizden aramamızı beklerler. The old, yaşlılar. Expect us to call them. Cümlemizin öznesi yaşlılar. Mavi de bu. Sonra cümlemizin fiili. The old expect us to call them. Son Cümlemiz yine bir soru cümlesi. Şarkılar ruh halimizi nasıl etkiler? Şarkılar ruh halimizi nasıl etkiler? Şarkılar songs. Ruh halimiz our moods. Nasıl? Ha etkiler impact. O zaman önce bir olumlu cümle yazalım biz. Yani şuraya artı artı diyelim. Yani soru yapmıyorum şu an. Yani şarkılar ruh halimizi etkiler. 
yazmaya çalışacağım. Songs özlemiz songs impact our mood şarkılar ruh halimizi etkiler. Bunu soru yapalım. Soru yaparken ne yapıyorduk? Cümleyi fiiline bakıyorduk. Eğer fiilimiz if our verb is in the first form impact is its first in its first form verb one so we are going to understand that we are going to use do here as an auxiliary verb and while we are making a sentence questions we are going to take this auxiliary verb at the beginning of the sentence olumlu cümle bir de yazacağım let me write the positive sentence once again songs impact our mood do songs impact our mood Şarkılar ruh halimizi etkiler mi? Sorumuz neydi bizim? Unutmuş olmayalım. Şarkılar ruh halimizi nasıl etkiler? Yani şu soru kelimesinde yine ne yapmamız lazımdı? Cümlemizi etki, e, eklememiz lazımdı. O zaman cümlemizin başına How do songs impact our mood? That's it. Now, let's check our answers. Here, the right answers. The teacher suggests forgetting the exam. The teacher suggests forgetting the exam. Teacher suggests forgetting the exam. The teacher suggests forgetting the exam. The second one, shall we drink tea? Shall we drink tea? Shall we drink tea? It is right, you see. The third one, Tuba suggests drinking tea. Tuba suggests drinking tea. Third one, Tuba suggests drinking tea. The fourth one, the students feel rather bored. The students feel rather bored. I am going to repeat these sentences again and again because uh, while we are reading the sentences, uh, we have to be careful about the pronunciation of the words. Otherwise, we cannot easily remember the pronunciation of the words. I am right, I think, aren't I? <laughs> I know that I'm just joking, sorry. And let's continue. If you listened, you will learn work stress impacts our mood. Sad news impacts our mood very much. What impacts our mood? The old expect us to call them. The last one, how the songs impact our mood. That's it for now. Stay at home, stay healthy. Bye-bye. Thanks anyway.